What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video I'm gonna show you guys 5 beat making tips that you should be aware of in Cubase. If you want to know more about beat making tips, I have done a few videos before and you guys can check it out. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first tips that I'd like to share with you guys is about using the mouse wheel to decrease or increase the volume of your track so if you can see here let me zoom it a little bit and you can see the volume here this is at 7 db if i scroll my mouse wheel up you will see that the volume here right here is going to increase right okay you can see the volume is increasing and you can also see the waveform is, the size of the waveform is getting increased let me show you it one more time right you guys can see that it has increased when I just used my mouse wheel to scroll up and down okay let me put it back to 7 to back where it was if you want to know how to add this function to your mouse wheel all you have to do is go to edit go to preference under editing go to audio and make sure use mouse wheel for event volumes and fades is checked right once you check, just go ahead and hit apply. Okay. And now you can increase the volume and decrease the volume using the mouse wheel. But you have to be careful because sometimes you might be just scrolling down if you have a lot of tracks, right? You'll be scrolling down using the mouse wheel and you might accidentally press on the audio even. And now you might have accidentally turned up or down the volume of the events so you have to be careful with that okay so if you want to be really cautious about it what you can do you can assign a key command for this feature so let me show you how it's done go to edit go to key commands okay under preference you have to go and search for audio and here you can search for audio use mouse wheel for event volumes and fades now I don't have any key commands for this feature but if you want you can just add one right here and hit assign all right so that's the first tip that you should be aware of in Cubase which is definitely increase the speed of your work all right so the second one is about editing the other section while listening to this section for example I have this beats right here and I want to be I want to play this part but I want to edit this part right but when I hit play It's going to play this part here and if I move my cursor, it's going to go here, right? So it's going to play this section of the song. I don't want that, right? So I want to be able to play this section, but I want to edit this region here. So how to do that? It's very simple. So I'm going to play this part right here. I'm going to, I'm going to press shift and come right here and just drag it down okay so now while listening to the other section I can edit this part of the MIDI event you can see that it's still playing but I'm I can edit this section or I can go back and edit this section this is very useful when you're multitasking so that's the second tip where you can simultaneously edit the other section or just move the cursor on the other side while playing this beat. So let me just repeat. All you have to do is press shift and drag those part right here without this cursor being moved. All right. So that is the second tip. The third tip I have for you guys today is to record your audio from MIDI straight to audio. Okay, sometimes when I'm using Pad Shop, right, I like to use the randomized features in Pad Shop. So when I play while the randomized is on, what happens is when I play that pattern again, the same pattern is not going to be playing because it's actually going to randomize each time right so how do I fix that kind of issue is by recording straight to the audio while I'm playing the MIDI notes on my keyboard see if you notice I'm playing the same chord but it sounds different because 
I think there's some kind of filter that is being attached to the velocity. So when I when I play in a lower velocity, it sounds different. And then when I when the velocity is high, it sounds different, right? This is similar to the randomized feature which I explained earlier. So I'm going to show using this synth. So what you have to do is you have to right click on this track, go to add track, add group channel to selected channels. So now I'm going to change it to stereo and I'm just going to name this record. Okay. This instrument track is being routed to the record group track. Okay. Let me show you. So if you look at this, the output of this instrument track is going to groups record, right? So whenever I play the synth, you can see the record group tracks meter moving up and down, right? So that means it's being routed to this group track. So now, the other thing you have to do now is to add an audio track. Let's add a stereo track and I'm going to name this synth, right? So I'm just put it below this record group track. Now, for the stereo in, you have to change it to groups record. So you have to record arm both of these track and I'm going to record MIDI and now we will get the audio recorded together. Okay, let me just solo this part here. Okay, now you can see that I have this MIDI event on top and the audio track below. So now I have just recorded this part right here. I'm going to mute the synth. This is the fastest way to get your MIDI to audio when you're producing. All right. So that is my third tip for today. And let's continue to the tip number four. The tip number four is to use your keyboard plus and minus key and use it as a jog wheel okay so uh, i'm gonna show you now i'm gonna press the minus key on my keyboard it's gonna go to the left and plus key is gonna go to the right let's say you want to just move to one bar okay what you can do we can you can set the grid here to one bar press control and plus to move to the right and control minus to move to the left if you want to just move half bar you can change it to half note and now you can move half note right if you want to move fast you can just press shift and plus key and press shift minus key again yep so that's how you can use your minus and plus key as a jog wheel if you don't have any you know cool midi control surface and the last one is this okay i'm not sure many of you, you are aware of this feature it's in mix console is the undo button right there redo undo okay sometimes you're mixing a large amount of tracks and you've been moving around to the right and left and you accidentally just change the fader right when you click on it it just move or move the fader so that sucks right so what you can do is you can go here and click on this undo button you can click it again and now it will go back to where it was all right so if you want to have more control over it what you can do is you can go to the mix console right here and go to history and now you can select those things that you changed earlier right so this is very useful when you are in the mixing phase sometimes you know like kind of things happens where you have to go and undo the mistakes but most of the times we were not aware of these features in mix console so that's it for today guys five beat making tips that you should be aware of if you guys find value in this video please make sure to subscribe turn on notification and smash the like button thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you guys in the next video